Any. So I wanted to just say that yesterday, my husband and I went out to Georgia to help out the church Lifeway Community Church in Georgia with some worship. And the uh, sermon was on obedience is better than sacrifice. It was a really great sermon. It reminded me of the obedience of doing these devotionals every day when God asked me to start doing these on June 25th, I think it was. And pretty much I've been doing them every day. I've missed a few here and there, but so we're going on the end of this month. It'll be like three months. I've been doing these in obedience to what God asked me to do. Um, and I'm not sure how long the season's going to be. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to want me to do this like forever or if he's going to say, okay, Laura, it's done now. You know, you, you've done it for the time I want you to do it and you're done, but we will see what God says. So I'm going to listen and be obedient to whatever he says. So today's reading is, oh, my husband's home. Hey, you can come in. It's okay. It's all casual. I'm in the middle of my devotional, but come on in. Okay. So today's reading for you this morning is called Sovereign and Good. You want to wave to everybody? Say hi. Hello, everybody. Face, maybe. Is she great? Face, face. Come on. They love you too. Hi. Yay. Okay. So it's called Sovereign and Good. And the scripture it's after is Matthew chapter 14, verse 27, that says, Take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Oh, how often we need to hear these words from Jesus in today's verse. We grow weak when the troubles of life threaten us. Difficult trials come and we grow suspicious of God, wondering if his will for us might be too hard this time. We let fear invade us and paralyze us. All the while, we forget two unalterable facts that the Bible emphasizes again and again. God is sovereign. He is good. There is nothing beyond God's control. Old Testament stories of the Red Sea, Jericho, Goliath, captivities, fiery furnaces, lion's dens, and the like should have convinced the disciples that even when perilous threats arise, God always uses them purposely to further establish his people. Jesus affirms the sovereignty of God. He numbers the hairs of our heads and watches over sparrows and hummingbirds. When this Jesus walks across life-threatening waters and says, it is I, Fear should vanish. God is sovereign. But God's sovereignty often means nothing to us unless we also know that he is good. An evil or dispassionate God could be sovereign and we would not trust him. But the disciples should also have known from the Old Testament that the sovereign God is kindly disposed toward his people. He shepherds them shelters them, nourishes them, and delivers them. Jesus has also made this clear. The Father gives good things to his children and blesses them. When his son walks across life-threatening waters and says, it is I, it is not for further danger. It is for relief because God is good. Your good, good Father it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. It's who I am, it's who I am. That's why we sing that song, He's a Good, Good Father. The wind and waves of this world are harsh. When we obsess about them, we grow suspicious of God's power and goodwill. Our courage fails us. But anyone who has a hard time making it through the storms of this life needs to clutch these truths like a lifeline that will pull him or her to safety. God's sovereign power supervises everything I'm gonna cry, that comes into our lives, no matter how threatening it appears. And he is, in his unchanging nature, very, very good. And I'm not looking at the right spot still. I've been doing this for three months, looking at the wrong spot. Um, 
you know, sometimes I get discouraged with what I do with leading worship and lately I've been feeling not good enough and um, unworthy. And I've got my own stuff going on where I get scared, too, to go out to different churches where I've never been or um, just to lead with just me and guitar. And I, I get insecure with my playing. And am I doing it right? Am I really doing what God wants? Um you know, am I in line with what he's asking me to do for this particular church today? And what about th this other church? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here or um, what songs and just so many things that, you know, ultimately are under God's control. And it's just me he's using to do it. But I get scared and um, and he always shows up and he always works and does the best in that time during that day or wherever I go. And that's only because I ask him to help me because I know I don't know the best thing to do. And I'm always learning and I make mistakes. And sometimes I do things that I think I'm supposed to do, but I'm not. And then I get correction and then I try to obey what he's asking me to do the next time. But then I get down on myself and, you know, I get insecure. So um, I'm human, but I think the most important thing is, and I'll say this from firsthand experience is picking yourself back up, picking yourself back up. Um, don't allow the enemy to keep you down with your old tapes going around and around. And I got them too. But the important thing is, is to let your friends and God, especially God, but he will put people in your life to encourage you to keep going, keep moving forward when you're weary, when you're afraid, when you don't think God's going to help you get through it and fear tries to take over. Anyway, we all have these ebbs and flows and these you know, mountains and valleys and our emotions sometimes get the best of us. And it's gone on seven minutes. Okay. I love you all. Goodbye. Comments. Um, and have a great one. Okay. Bye.